<laughs> okay, welcome to Cooking with Anna. I'm really excited about today's class. It's all about taking simple ingredients that are ready, readily available and taking sandwiches that are simple, everyday fare, and taking them up to a level where it's entrees and special occasions, or just for your family to make it special. And every meal should be special. So I'm going to start off by a quick wash of the hands. That's always a good thing. And then let's go ahead. Y'all look thirsty out there, so I guess we better get something to drink. You'll see on the first page of your notebook is uh, we're going to start off with a sangria blanca, a white sangria. And in this, because it's sangria is, is of Spanish origin, I've chosen all Spanish wines today, uh, which I think you'll enjoy. And we have one person here who is not going to be wanting to drink alcohol, so I've got a special punch planned for her. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so what I'm going to do for Lindsay is an apple teeny without the teeny. So I'm taking a little bit of orange juice, a little bit of apple juice, oh yum, a little bit of grenadine, a little bit of grenadine, because it's got to be a pretty color too. And what I've done in the bottom, I floated some halves of red grapes, uh, some lime, some mandarin orange, It's gonna be yummy too. And we'll just keep those going for her all day. Give it a little stir. Now that looks good enough to drink. Uh oh. One down. There you go. There you go, Lindsay. Just for you, sweetheart. Now, in this sangria punch, what we've got is three tablespoons of sugar. You're going to get a pitcher, just a normal glass pitcher, uh, probably two quart size. And three tablespoons of sugar, uh, a sliced lime is going to go right into the pitcher, three sliced apples that you've cored and sliced. You don't need to peel them, just throw them right in there. Sixteen red grapes that you've halved and a small can of mandarin oranges. Now don't drain it, throw the juice right in there. It's gonna add another leather, layer of flavor that's really gonna be good. And then of course, the secret ingredient to this sangria is not just the Spanish wine, it's the Cointreau. And you're gonna give this three generous shots of Cointreau. This is an orange flavored liqueur, very delicious. You could also substitute Grand Marnier. Everybody does easily. Now, the wine I've chosen for this is a Grand Fuero, it's a Chardonnay, it's a 1995, and it is from Navarra, Spain. I hope I pronounced that right and didn't mess up the vine vineyard. Now, I went ahead and did this overnight because it's always better with a sangria if it has a chance for all of those wonderful flavors to marry up and, and get together. So we don't need that anymore, so let's try this. And then, I'm going to spoon a little bit of this fruit into each glass because that's going to be a really fun part of this. Just get a little bit for each glass. Well, you know what they say, you, all, you eat with your eyes, you drink with your eyes first, so we want to make sure it's really pretty. Hmm? Yes, it does, because it'll go flat. And so there you've lost the spritzer part of, you know, and a sangria should be, well, especially in this kind of case, should be a little, you want a little bubbly there. Okay, and then the key to doing these limes is just to slice them relatively thin. I'm going to slice down halfway through, because that's going to give me a little something to hang over the lip. And these are really going to look pretty. Now, if you wanted to go even a step further, you could take colored sugar and 
wipe your glass with lime, the rim, and dip it in the sugar. I think this sangria is so purely beautiful with the fruit floating in it, I didn't think it was necessary. So, now Patty and I tried this. It's very good. It's very, very good. No, I'm going to top this off with a little splash of club soda. So there's no club soda? There's no club soda in it right now. And I don't want too much. I just want to give it a little splash. Uh, and there it goes. There we go. Okay, let's give this a try.